During World Series cricket, Joel Garner and I forced our way into the team and the bowling chain for West Indies. The media were very interested because for the first time ever, you had four fast bowlers who could all bowl at over 90 miles per hour. Michael Olin, Andy Roberts, Joel Garner, and Colin Craft. <laughs> Colin Craft. We were called the four horsemen of the apocalypse. We were called terrorists, dangerous, murderers. We were called all sorts of things. These guys were physically intimidating. Joel Garner, six foot eight. And he was always coming either at your toes or up at your neck. That is the enemy at the other end. Those fellas wearing the pads on the back, those were the enemy. And it's my intention to make life for them very uncomfortable. Colin Craft, him have an action you can't understand. That is a menace to society. <laughs> I was scary. I know that. You knock a guy down with a bouncer and you smile and you laugh. I am here. Get out of my way. We asked him, Cruffy, suppose your mother was at the other end of him. He says, boy, if my mother was at the other end, she's the target. And there was a hitman and labeled the hitman just because he was hitting people. I hear people say that I was a hitman. I didn't go out to try to hit people. It's just that a lot of people get hit. Colin Kauji, Sadiq Mohammed, Majid Khan, all the press factor of the cheekbone. And he was so feared. They all had their different styles, but Michael was called Whispering Death. The umpire couldn't hear me coming. He had to keep on looking behind him to see if I was actually running in. And I suppose the death came from the pace at which I bowled, that it could create death. The team by 1979 was stronger, much, much stronger. We were on top of our game, all of us. Superb, premium. That's professional sport at the highest level. The West Indians came and said to the cricket culture, listen, cricket can be spectacular. It is art. We were becoming a force, politically. They are saying, this is a West Indian product. They are showing on the world stage coming out of the so-called third world uh, can be excellent. There's a wind of change. Let's be better than we have ever been. We are on our way to victory of good over evil.